Queen Elizabeth made her final appearance just two days before her death. The monarch, who died peacefully on Thursday at the age of 96, formally appointed a new prime minister on Tuesday, Liz Truss. Truss traveled to Balmoral Castle in Scotland, where the queen traditionally spent her summers for the meeting, which marked the first time the queen appointed a new prime minister in Scotland. Elizabeth had been experiencing mobility issues before her death, but was photographed shaking hands with Truss while holding a walking cane and her go-to black handbag. Outgoing Prime Minister Boris Johnson also traveled to Scotland for a formal farewell that same day. A source previously explained that the decision was made for the audiences to take place at Balmoral to provide certainty for the new PM and Johnson schedules. Elizabeth met her first Prime Minister, Sir Winston Churchill, when she stepped off the plane that brought her back to Britain from Kenya in 1952, the year she ascended to the throne. She'd go on to appoint 15 PMs in total. That responsibility was one of the Queen's key duties, and one she did not delegate to her son and heir, now known as King Charles III. In the months prior to her death, the now King took on an increasing number of other roles on her behalf.